This is Credit Matters and I am Larry Witte, Senior Director with Global Fixed Income Research at S&P Global Ratings. S&P Global, Global Ratings maintained more than 2,100 public finance ratings in Texas as of January 31st, 2017, 79% of which are in the local and state government areas, categorized as tax-secured or appropriation-backed. 86% of the ratings are in the A category or higher, and 40% are high investment grade, AA category and higher. Nearly 4% of Texas ratings are AAA, including 52 tax security ratings, 23 utility ratings, and 6 in higher education. Tax secured and housing ratings represent 138 of the 193 AA plus ratings. There are 40 ratings below BBB-, non investment grade. 16 were appropriation, 10 of these were charter schools. Tax secured and healthcare were five each, three were housing, and one was higher education. Texas's ratio of rating upgrades to downgrades in 2016 was 2.1 to 1, significantly higher than the ratio for U.S. public finance overall at 1.25 to 1. There were 92 one notch upgrades and 18 one notch downgrades. The most common rating event was an upgrade of one notch for financial reasons, which occurred 30 times and there were 29 one-notch upgrades for economic factors. Texas was notable for the frequency of positive rating actions that occurred as a result of economic and real estate market factors. The state had 13 upgrades because of strong real estate growth. Combining the economic and real estate rating movements, Texas had 42 upgrades and just two downgrades. Debt and debt service coverage were also strongly positive with a combined 20 upgrades and one downgrade. Texas issuers experienced no defaults in 2016. Since 1986, there have been 25 defaults, the most recent in 2013. However, when excluding housing, Texas has no more defaults than any other state that we have recently surveyed. There are 21 housing defaults in Texas, compared to just eight in the other states. Positive outlook, outlooks, outnumber negative outlooks or ratings on Credit Watch with negative implications, 49 to 38. Only tax secured and appropriation ratings have a noticeable bias in terms of the distribution of rating directional indicators. There are 36 positive outlooks and 14 negative outlooks among tax secured ratings. In addition, there are two ratings each on Credit Watch with negative and developing implications. 14 appropriation ratings have negative outlooks and two have positive outlooks. In 2017, economic factors could provide more rating support, even after leading to a significant number of upgrades in 2016. IHS Global Insights predicts real gross state product to increase to 3.2% in 2017, following a slow growth of just 0.4% in 2016. Persistently low oil prices contributed to a decline in employment growth of 1.6% in 2016, but jobs are projected to increase 2.2% in 2017. For more information, please read our snapshot on Texas, and thank you again for watching.